Hello, this is Paul Hudding, Leisure Services Director. We've got a really exciting new project that uh, I'm really excited to talk to you all about. It's the transformation of Gates and Burns Park. This all started with a, an aquatics master plan process that we entered into to replace our two pools. The pools are in uh, pretty bad shape. They're 42 years old and leaking. So on the screen here, you see the process um, from Ballard King and Associates for the aquatic, developing the aquatic master plan. Um, you see all the steps on there. Uh, probably key in that was the public input. We had public input in a variety of ways. We had a public meeting at the Sportsplex. We had a survey of everyone who was interested in aquatics and waterloo. We had about a thousand participants in that. We also then had a Gates Park focus group because we wanted to drill down a little more into the Gates Park aspect because we were looking at alternatives there to the pool. This slide uh, shows the existing, one of the existing pools. Pools are in really sad shape at this point and we're needing to move forward with replacement. One of our uh, planners in the process, uh, he's an aquatics engineer, said that he wouldn't be surprised at all if we called on the way, on his way home to say that the pools had failed. So we've been lucky to keep them operating so far. This is a shot of 2019 when we lost an entire season due to failure of the main drain and the sidewalls in the deep end. Uh, we did get that patched up and it's running again now. Uh, they're both aluminum shell pools and they're very leaky. This slide kind of goes through the public input process. Uh, the City Council did vote public meeting to adopt the master plan in February of 2022. The Leisure Services Commission also voted prior to that. So the Gates Park Focus Group was really kind of a more in-depth, a group of people who have been active with youth in Gates Park, um, more in-depth study of what they might like to see at the park and this slide shows a few of their recommendations. Focus group members are listed here. We thank them for their, their input and they did participate in the work session with the city council. We did ask ourselves if we should even be in the business of aquatics. We have a large water park near water or in Waterloo on the south side of Waterloo and thought maybe we could just partner with them, but that would not allow us to do a couple things. It wouldn't allow us to do our swim program the way we do now because they don't really have the water there for that type of lesson program. And it also would, with it being kind of on the margin of the city, we, we thought having something more toward the center of the city was important and it should be affordable. Uh, the Ballard King study had several conclusions and they concluded that we could support in Waterloo one indoor aquatic center, and we do have that at the Sportsplex now, and 1.5 outdoor aquatic centers. The outdoor aquatic center, ultimately in the plan as recommended, would be one aquatic center at Burns and then a spray pad at Gates with a number of other amenities at Gates. And we did look in depth at the equity questions, trying to, to be as equal as we can on both sides of the river without not without necessarily uh, having carbon copies. Both of these parks are considered to be anchor parks, many with, with many features and opportunities. From the onset, we were thinking we'd, we'd have about eight million per park investment. That's what we originally thought a new uh, pool or aquatic center would cost. From that, uh, we looked at a number of other options for Gates Park. Here's what we came up with. Uh, this is the north section of Gates Park where the pool currently is. There's a large three-court lit basketball complex with an amphitheater adjacent and a roller skating track surrounding it. There's a performance area, inclusive playground, and this is, this is something we don't have in Waterloo yet, and we're really excited to offer an inclusive playground for our citizens and visitors. That's a play space that exceeds minimum accessibility, and it creates an experience which children and adults of all abilities can interact. The spray pad at Gates Park uh, would be something larger than what we currently have in downtown Waterloo. We, we currently have Mark's Parks and it's very, very busy. That's named for Mark Young and was funded in large part by the Young Family Foundation. A wonderful facility, 
but a little small for the number of people that are frequenting it. If we have a nice large spray pad at Gates Park, we think that'll really complement that well. Some of the good things about spray parks is they're free and open to the public. The hours are extended longer than uh, you would have with an aquatic center. You don't have to have guards on the facility. Longer season and longer hours, so it just it gives a, a lot more exposure to the public. One of the fun things we're going to do is where the swimming pool sits now, we'll be excavating the large hill there and using that material that we excavate to create berms throughout Gates Park. And we'll leave some of the large trees and the higher ground around the basketball court so you'll have a kind of a rolling um, hill feel to the new park. It should be really quite inviting. In the middle of the park, we have a soccer field that's existing, but it needs quite a bit of work. That's very busy now with Hispanic Soccer League and other activities. Uh, part of the plan then would be to completely regrade that, reseed it, and create a really nice new soccer field and good parking adjacent to it. Now people are parking on the grass, and the field is bumpy, just not, not particularly inviting. And, and then on the former Chamberlain site, we have a sculpture garden, and that's a future plan. We'll be uh, constructing the pallet for that garden with the berming that I was discussing earlier. We'll plant that all in pollinators and prairie grass. Then we'll also have on the right, you see a paved trail that will connect the upper portion of Gates Park with the lower portion so that folks can circulate through the whole park, uh, something that we've not been able to do currently. In the future, we have uh, partners in the Waterloo Center for the Arts and the North End Festival. That, those two groups are teaming up to look at possible interpretive and art pieces to go in this sculpture garden. Now we're at the Leicester Street or Lower Gates uh, area. This gate, this area has come under fire as being, well, I can't, I don't know how else to say it, but ugly. There's a large flood wall there that was put in to actually save nearby residents the uh, expense of flood insurance and to protect, protect them when Verdon Creek floods. So that's a, a good amenity, but it really makes the park look pretty, pretty ugly. We have come up with a plan to take the broken up basketball courts and parking area out, re-sculpt the whole area with berms and use some landscaping. This is what the area looks like now on the left. And on the right is what it would look like after we make some improvements to the flood wall and some landscaping. Now we're at Burns Park, and this is a, an artist rendering, and it's a conceptual rendering. We'll be working on details further on this, but essentially we'll have a lap pool, a large zero entry shallow area that should be very popular for play with families, um, a water slide, and potentially a current channel, and a lot of shade, a little more shade than we currently have in our, our water parks. This should be a lot more efficient with the new filtration and water treatment facilities and new heating plant. Currently our utility bills are quite high and our carbon footprint is quite high, so we, we hope to really improve on that. And then our water leakage problem will go away. We've, we've unfortunately been losing a lot of water into the ground over the last probably decade or so. And last, I want you to be aware of a fundraising opportunity, uh, your chance to be part of this large project. We do have some great uh, partners already in the Blackhawk County Gaming Association, McElroy Trust, and Otto Scheutz Foundation. Uh, they've all been large donors to the project and the, the city is going to be putting some bond money into this, but we really do need, and especially for a state grant that we're accessing, we need broad support from our citizens. So Make a Splash is a fundraising campaign through the Waterloo Community Foundation, and you can see the details on their site. Thank you very much for looking at this slideshow, and thank you for being interested in this great project for Waterloo. You can also go to Waterloo Leisure Services org for a lot more information. We appreciate your support and help.